everyone. Hi. We're Jason and Chrissy. What's up? Hello. So today we are going to do a video on uh, an experience that we have routinely that we found out is uh, due to how we handle problems or upsets. Challenges? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. How do we handle challenges? So essentially uh, what we experience is that it doesn't matter what the challenge is, we have pretty much the same reaction. Like an upset is an upset and it's a catastrophic experience. Very, very like high, high level issue. It's, it's, I think it's very intense. intense. It's intense. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, I would say we have a puppy. She wants to eat wood chips like they're going out of style. Mm -hmm. It's insanely upsetting to me. It's very upsetting to us. Mm -hmm. Right? And good example. I would say uh, a, a non-autistic person would just be like, oh, the dog's eating wood chips again. Right. Like, uh, that's really funny because we were walking her and we, we put a muzzle on her until she learns this because it's so upsetting to us. So she, until she learns to not eat wood chips, she gets an opportunity to not do it. If she does it, she gets a muzzle on her when mm -hmm. we're walking. And uh, somebody saw it, they're like, oh my God, it's such a cute puppy. Like, does she bite? Like, cause you know, she has a muzzle on and people want to understand why we do that. And I'm like, no, she just likes to eat everything. So we put a muzzle on her and they look at us like we're crazy. And um, it and just- that doesn't make sense to us because <laughs> right. why are you looking at, why are you looking at us like we're crazy? <laughs> We don't want our dog to eat wood chips because everyone that has makes mulch. Sense. It makes like, sense to it us. It makes sense that we wouldn't want that, right? And we kind of figure, who would want that? Who would want the dog? be okay with that? Who would want their dog to eat like wood chips or right. just constantly be scouring for anything? You know, uh, anything matter. to eat off off the ground. Right. Uh, we get very upset. This yeah. chick eats <laughs> like better than most humans. She does. Right. So like, yeah, um, this is true for real. It's upset. So like, that's an example. Um, and really a lot of times, like, it's like kind of this energy of like, Oh, go with the flow, like go with the flow of whatever's happening, but it's very difficult for us to do that. Um, and so for us, like a pro a problem is a problem and it can be very like catastrophic, even though it's not it doesn't really matter if it is or not. We have to move through our feelings, right? Another example is we are building a home and we had a potential, we had a trip coming up and the night before the trip, like we got a note from somebody that like, like catapulted us into freak out mode. And Jason almost didn't go on the trip because he was so upset about the communication. And to the, to the person who sent it, they probably thought it was just a normal communication, you know, we'll work through it. But for Jason and I, it was like a full stop. It was like, oh, it's over. It's like, over. This, right? this, whole, this whole situation <laughs> is dead in the water because of this. Right. And um, yeah, there was a lot to work through. We but, were like up half the night. But it was like, like upset and triggered. Well, yeah. what's the point of going if, if, it's, if it's just completely dead? Right. But it wasn't completely dead. Uh, wound up going on the trip and then um, just great. kind of letting the chips fall where they where they may and all uh, things were okay right, right? but uh, like we had to do a lot of work beforehand sure but like yeah the the people having the commu communication prior to that were just like very not a big deal not a big deal we'll, we'll figure it we'll out figure it out but like to us it was, it was like out. yo there's no way past this right which didn't make sense to us because we know in our heart, this is where God's calling us and what we're being guided to do. And so there was a conflict going on and we just applied the mirror exercise uh, taught by Jeff and Shalia from Twin Flames Universe in regards to our feelings. And, you know, we've honed this process over years of applying it. So and even though we apply it, we still move through big challenges like this, right? On the regular basis. And it's simply choosing to, be in it, be in the mess, be in the energy and just move through it uh, the way that we've been, you know, we've been taught the most efficient way with the mirror exercise and just loving ourselves until we come into a place of peace. And so 
really the the key point is that like you might think something is a really little deal or it's not a big deal but to an autistic person it'll be like the end of the world and uh it's the process of us realizing that's not the communication yeah and, and like i guess depending upon you know what where on the spectrum someone is on yeah. with autism like that could be a uh, outward tantrum or that could be a everything's perfect demeanor while there's a total meltdown inside inside mm -hmm. right um and they're you know anywhere in between that as well so you never really uh just because there, there's not like this outward freak out doesn't mean that like what's going on behind the scenes uh, on somebody is being taken how you would take it uh, and so there's like I don't know what would you say there's I guess it's a process process to uh, you know learning how to communicate with autistic people versus non-autistic people yeah and just having compassion and patience for whatever you're moving through on the journey and whatever is coming up for you and um that's what's important here is unconditional love and compassion for one another. Well, that's all we wanted to share with this one, I think. Don't eat wood chips. And don't eat wood chips. Don't let your dog eat wood chips. <laughs> I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.